Hello everybody and welcome back to the WWE 2K18 Universe Mode. We are on SmackDown Live. <coughs> Randy Orton enters here. First from St. Louis, Missouri, he is the Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton. And now his opponent. We haven't seen him for a while. But he's here. Next, from Cincinnati, Ohio, he is the Lunatic Fringe, Dean Ambrose. Get ready, guys. Big time singles match. A big singles match here. The winner of this is the final member of Team SmackDown at Survivor Series. Which one of these two men will pick up the win? We will find out right now. Oh, and a uppercut from Ambrose all ready to start off the match. And he's coming out of the gate swinging against one of the best we have ever seen in Universe Mode. Let me move that box. It's really annoying me. One of the best we have ever seen in our Universe Mode, Randy Orton. Orton, I don't know if he's actually won a championship. He's a multiple-time IC and U.S. champion. But he's just never gotten to that extra level to win the WWE Championship. And that is kind of why he needs to win this match. Because if he wins this match, then he can make it to Team SmackDown. And all the remaining members... So if Team SmackDown wins, all the members of the team who are still in the match get a chance at the WWE Championship. <coughs> That would be at the TLC pay-per-view, but first Team SmackDown has to win. Right now, oh, even more fist to the face. Dean Ambrose is feeling confident. Wait. Is that... Is that Seth Rollins? He, wait, he's already on Team SmackDown. RKO! RKO! One, two... Three, welcome to Team SmackDown, Randy Orton. Former teammate of Ambrose, formerly when they were teaming up on the Shield, out of nowhere, Seth Rollins music, then Orton with an RKO, and the match is over. What the heck just happened? Dean Ambrose was just screwed out of an opportunity to be on Team SmackDown. Seth Rollins, what happened? Rollins used to be good friends and teammates with Ambrose. We know he turned his back on the WWE Universe. Now he turned his back on one of his best friends. Well, let me put that in the books that Randy Orton is... Oh, I can't grab my phone. Okay, I got it. That Randy Orton is the next member of Team SmackDown. What the heck? Why? Well, it's going to be difficult for Team Raw to beat Team SmackDown. The This is Team SmackDown. Brock Lesnar, Matt Hardy, Seth Rollins, and Randy Orton. Yeah, Team Raw should just give up now. They're not going to win. Now this, this is a big match here. The winner of this will fight Sting for the United States Championship at the TLC pay-per-view. Big match here. One of these men can get their opportunity at the U.S. title. Another match kind of full of underdogs. As none of these men really have gotten their opportunity yet. But they can, they can really go big here. You get an opportunity one on one with Sting for the United States Championship. Not in a TLC match, it'll just be a normal match, I think. That might change. But which of these men are gonna be able to pick up a big victory? Let's find out. Entering first, <clears throat> entering first from 
Tampa, Florida. He is, he's really kind of a rookie. Roderick Strong. so many opportunities. Almost won the US or IC title at WrestleMania last year. Now this probably was the favorite to win this match. Next from Detroit, Michigan, he is Rhino. Rhino does what he wants. Next. Oh, I just missed it. I think it said from Atlanta, too. Next from Atlanta, Georgia. What's up, our truth One of the fan favorites in this match, entering in his car. I love his entrance. It's so cool. I haven't used Eddie Guerrero in a little bit. Oh, sorry. Any, anyways, just let me wait to see where he's from. I think he's from Mexico. Mexico City, Mexico. He lies. He cheats. And he steals. From El Paso, Texas. Eddie Guerrero. Next, from San Francisco, California, he is a two-time NXT champion, Brutus the Barber Beefcake. <coughs> oh, match starts just like that. Wow. Okay, let me turn down the sound. And this match has begun. Yeah, Rhino, he's going right after our truth Like I said, Rhino, definitely one of the favorites to win this match. Him and Eddie Guerrero have to be probably the top two people fans pick to win this thing. As those two have uh, great experience in wrestling. Oh! Wow. Vicious reversal from Rhino. Those two have great experience and they have a... Uh, or just like... Rhino, he, he has the size advantage. Guerrero... He has a speed advantage in this match. Him and Xavier Woods and Roderick Strong definitely the fastest. But I think for sure it has to be Eddie Guerrero who is the fastest. Oh, and out of the ring. Oh, no. Roderick Strong just barely hangs on. Oh, Brutus the Barber Beefcake leveling our truth. Wow. <coughs> and now Beefcake taken out. And true, these are going to try and maybe help Woods with Rhino. Oh no! He just. He's taking out Burr's Beefcake! Oh no, reversal. Like I said, Beefcake, two time. Oh, our truth eliminated! Uh, anyways, as I was saying, Beefcake is a two time NXT champion. Oh, what is Eddie Guerrero? Oh! Arm drag down goes Woods. 
punch now from Strong, and now he's looking to eliminate Brutus the Barber Beefcake. And a vicious reversal. That elbow really looks like it hurt Strong. Now Strong tossed into the corner. He runs into to Guerrero, and they both get knocked down. Now Eddie, he's looking to eliminate Xavier Woods from this match, I think. Maybe looking for the one. For the two. For the three amigos. As Rhino. Rhino, he might be on the verge of eliminating Roderick Strong here. Strong, he's barely hanging on. Roderick Strong, is he going to stay in this one? Oh, Brutus Beefcake, he's going to help Rhino. Strong, he's going to fight off Beefcake and Rhino. Guerrero still with the only elimination in this match of our truth And now Guerrero, he's just going to taunt Woods and the rest of his opponents up on the top rope. Now Woods, he's getting back up to his feet, trying to crawl away from Guerrero. Guerrero doesn't seem to care. But now probably, well now, of course, the biggest guy in the match goes after Woods and starts walking away, but Woods isn't just going to let him walk away. Rhino knocked out cold by Xavier Woods. And uh-oh, Roderick Strong, he might be looking to end Xavier Woods' night short. Cut it short, and he will not as Woods gets out of it. Oh, but still trying to eliminate him now. Now Xavier Woods tosses Strong into the corner. This might be it for Roderick Strong. Punch to the face, but then a reversal from Strong. Oh, reversal of a big drop kick. From Xavier Woods and eliminated Roderick Strong, Xavier Woods. Now Rhino and Eddie, or Rhino and Brutus Beefcake were looking to eliminate Guerrero. And then Rhino just kind of stopped and said, no, I'm not doing this. And now Rhino and uh, Woods roll to the apron. They're kind of just catching their breath while Guerrero and Beefcake fight it out. Ooh, drop it to the knees of Beefcake. That's going to hurt. Neddy Guerrero, he might be looking for his second elimination of the match. As Rhino's now back to his feet. Beefcake's not in a good spot, and he's going to roll to the bottom of the apron as Woods is now back to his feet. Now Rhino going to toss Woods into the corner, but he runs into Guerrero, and Guerrero may have just Saved Woods and, like, really messed up Rhino. No, Woods. Oh, that's a far way to jump. Oh, that's a far way to jump. Is Woods going to be able to connect? He is just barely, just barely able to connect with Rhino. And, uh oh he might be looking to end the night. Scissors kicks. Rhino's out of it. And Guerrero, he's looking for a second elimination. This one of Beefcake. Is Brutus the Barber Beefcake done in this one? Rhino, he took down Woods, and now he's taunting. Oh, no, an elbow to the head of Eddie Guerrero. He's four battling it out, and Xavier Woods has just been busted open. I hate the move Eddie Guerrero is doing. It looks so weird. It just doesn't seem like it would hurt. Oh no! Rhino! Spear! <coughs> A spear from Rhino. Wow. Yeah, Woods, I thought, got rocked in his night, but it might be over. But now he's back up on his feet, and now he might be... He might eliminate Eddie Guerrero. He might about eliminate... Eddie Guerrero! Rhino's eliminated by Brutus Beefcake! Oh, what's just got? Oh my God! What the heck just happened? My remote fell. Brutus Beefcake just eliminated the two strongest members of the match within 30 seconds, maybe even 15. Knee to the face. Brutus Beefcake has to have this one locked up. There's no way. All he has to do is hit this, and Woods is done for. And he doesn't hit it. Now Woods, so. Oh. Atomic drop. Oh no, not another one. And Woods falls to the ground. Bre Beefcake tired. I can't believe what I just saw though. Brutus Beefcake deserves to win at this point. 
Woods has put on a great show, but he didn't eliminate the two strongest competitors in the match. And he didn't eliminate them like Brutus Beefcake did. Clotheslined uh, Rhino out of the ring, and then like pretty much on the same string of momentum as he eliminates Xavier Woods, and Brutus Beefcake will fight Sting. That was crazy. So he clotheslined Rhino out of the ring, bounced off the ropes after hitting Rhino out, and hit Guerrero with a clothesline as well. Look at these highlights, though. This was crazy. Oh, that kick to the face definitely hurt. Rhino had barely even gotten up. Guerrero hadn't even left ringside yet. Honestly, I don't, I can't just, I can't even. He's won the, uh, he's won the NXT title once or twice, and now he has a shot for the U.S. title. What the heck? Wow, that was actually insane. Writing this in here. That is crazy. But that'll wrap up this episode of the WWE 2K18 Universe Mode. I actually don't know what to think. That was actually insane. There's nothing else to say about it. That was three eliminations, three minutes at least. Or at most. Like, Beefcake eliminated, like, half the match... And then, oh, that was amazing. Congratulations, the Brutus the Barber Beefcake. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next episode of the 2K18 Universe Mode.